Hey y'all, it's me again, back with my final video in this little makeup haul series. Um, this is from Christmas, I wanna say, or the day after Christmas, I picked this stuff up. So, let me show you what I grabbed. Um, from Tarjay, I got some clearance makeup. Um, they had a lot of stuff on clearance as far as makeup is concerned. Um, not just in the Christmas section, but actually in the their makeup section. So I picked up a Wet n Wild palette, which I really did not need another <laughs> Wet n Wild palette. But I picked up this one. This one's not a basic peach. And it has some really pretty peachy colors and stuff. I cannot wait to use this one. It has some beautiful shades. It was regularly $4.69. I got it for $2.34. But y'all have probably seen these. And then again, you may not because everybody's showing all this higher end stuff. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. I mean, really gorgeous colors and stuff in there. So cannot wait to try out this palette. And I also grabbed, let me put this in my drawer, okay. I also grabbed this little um, Lips to Go from Profusion. This one's called Desire. I think this was $1.20. Um, it was one of their little holiday sets. And Profusion has some really nice products. Don't sleep on Profusion. But you get a lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip gloss. So I grabbed that for $1.40. That's, or $1.20, I think. It's really, really a nice little um, set. So I grabbed that. And again, that was from Tarjay. So then I went on over to Ulta because I had some Ulta books that I had accumulated from my purchases throughout the year that were about to expire for the year. So I needed to go ahead and use those. So I spent all of those. It was $50 that I had. And then I think I went over by 13 Yeah, I went over by $13 or whatever because I was going to use every penny. Do you hear me? <laughs> so the first thing I picked up was another one of these Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. I love this concealer so I had to re-up because I am like really almost out of this one and I'm not one of those people who um you know what I'm saying I do a lot I don't wear a lot of makeup when I do wear it I don't like a whole lot of stuff on my face I want it to look as natural as possible well anyway as you can see I don't know you can see it's like leaving me quickly and I discovered this when I was watching Jeffree Star and he used it and I love how it covered what he was trying to conceal and stuff and he was saying how nice it wore you know when he wore it you know how it wears on your skin and so I went and picked it up it was seven bucks I think seven ninety nine or something like that and I could never find the color because it was one in my shade when I picked it up the first time, and that's shade C12. And every time I would go back to get some more, it was always sold out, always sold out. And so I got lucky. They had one left again when I went in um, the day after Christmas. So I love this. I mean, it is like empty. You, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's leaving. So I got another one. I re-upped on that. So, super excited about that. Then I picked up a couple of palettes. The first one I got was the Morphe palette Bling Boss by Bling Boss, Bling Boss um, from Jaclyn Hill. Um, and it looks like this. I was just trying to stay in a budget. And I only have one other Morphe palette and I really like it. So I said I'd try this one out. Um, I'm not sure if there are any reviews on this one. I'm pretty sure it is, but I wasn't buying it because of a review. I just liked the way it looked when they had it out, you know, um, you know, on display or whatever. It has some beautiful colors in it. Oh, stunning <laughs> colors. Beautiful. I'm not sure how it wears or anything like that. So I did grab uh, this one and I'm going to swatch one for you and you knew I'm going to swatch the purple. Okay, so let's do that for you guys. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. There it is. Pretty, pretty purple color. Excuse my dry hands. I've been swatching, so they're really dry. But I like that. That is gorgeous. Okay, so here, let's see. We'll do one more. 
uh, oh, let's do, oh, and that purple's called Gem. So what we're going to do is, let's see. I think I want to swatch this one, and that's Mystic. So, oh, I love that. Uh, ooh, that's pretty. Sort of a maroon color. God, my hand's dry. Okay, so that is really pretty, too. There it is, swatch right there. Here, I can do a better job. My hand is so dry, y'all. But there it is, swatched. Really pretty colors. So, okay, I'm liking it. And I want to say this one was like, where's my whites? Um, I mean, you know what? I have the receipt, and I can tell you what I paid for it. But these are probably old palettes or something that's coming. I'm, you know, I haven't been buying it because I don't need any. But I was going to use that, honey. Jacqueline Hill Bling Boss came out to be three dollars and ten cents because of my Ulta books. <laughs> So I saved um no eleven dollars and ninety cents. It was fifteen bucks, so I got it for three ten. So sign up for those Ulta Care books, honey. Or Ulta Bucks. What are they called? I forget what they're called, but they're books. So <laughs> sign up for those so you can get those um discounts and things like that. So put that back up. So we're gonna play around with this stuff I um I didn't see anything in the drugstore brands that I want I wanted to try I want to say was it the cover girl um foundation but they didn't have any left in my shade so I just went ahead and bought some palettes because I had been kind of wanting to try some things so this next one is the dream street um what's this Kathleen lights color pop palette i haven't tried color pop ever so i thought this would be a great way to at least try their shadows so this is what it looks like came in this box and um here's what the palette looks like and it's beautiful as well i love the rich colors and i hear a lot of people talk about how nice the color pop shadows are so i'm gonna swatch of course the deeper shades because you really want to see how they look so we're gonna go into this beautiful and they have names, water bearer, water bearer, water bearer. So, sorry, sudden draw. <laughs> the water bearer color. Ew, oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. Oh, man. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, it's a nice deep matte. Oh, gosh, that is so pretty. That's so gorgeous. Okay, and let's see. We'll swatch this pretty sort of orangey, deep peachy orange color. And that one is pretty too. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. And there it is. Oh, that would be great for like summer. Nice, hot, rich color. And then we're going to do one of these metallics. So I'm going to go into this copper color right here. And, oh, I can tell you the name. That's Stardust. And the one I just swatched, the orange color, is called Spark. Okay, so here is Stardust. Oh, that's beautiful, too. It's been a while since I've seen a copper color that looks like this. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a true copper if that makes sense so that's it so these are really pretty okay color pop i see what you're doing because again i have never tried the color pop shadows so yep looking forward to that and again this is dream street and it says kathleen lights and color pop okay Alrighty, so the next one I have been wanting for a while, and I did not realize that my Ulta sold them because for the longest we didn't get those in. Uh, we did uh, my Ulta didn't have them, but now they have a lot of the popular brands in the Ulta store that's closest to me now. So they've finally gotten the MAC products in, um, of course, ColourPop and things like that, but they actually got Juvia's Place. 
Oh my gosh. I was gonna get all Juvia's Place, but they were out of the ones that, you know, I wanted to get, um, except for this one. So this is the Magic Mini um, palette. And I was lucky enough to grab it. So I have a little collection of Juvia's Place um, palettes. So I need to really get the whole collection. So, oh, and we know how rich and beautiful her stuff is. Oh, look. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to swatch. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to swatch these two. Okay, I want to swatch this one, which is Ify, I want to say. And then we're going to swatch the other one on the opposite end, which is called Yejeti or Yejiti. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. These two right here because they're like really dark. So, you know what? Let me clean my finger off because I have a couple dirty fingers. Oh, gosh. I can barely get these off in that color pop palette. Okay, here we go. So, give me a good swatch. Okay, so let's do Yajiti. And, oops, don't fall. Oh, that's pretty. It's a navy almost color. Isn't that true? Navy. And swatch it. Oh, that's pretty. Her palettes are known for their pigmentation, so there it is. My hand was still a little wet from the white, but it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Okay, and then let's swatch. Ify. Okay. I hope I am so seeing that right, y'all. Ooh, that's purple. I almost thought it was a black. Look at that. That is a true purple. Okay. I thought I really did looking at it. I thought it was black. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so pretty. And there it is, watched. Oh, cannot wait to play in this palette. And again, oops, I'm dropping everything. This is the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. Here we go, so you can see that. Really pretty. And again, look at that on my fingers, though. <laughs> look at that color. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to play in makeup this year. There we go. So... That's going to do it, I think. I'm going to make sure I got everything. I showed you everything. Yep, so that is going to do it <laughs> for um my makeup haul that I picked up over the last few months or so. So now I'm going to do a massive purge, and I'm going to take y'all along with me because I have makeup from like 10 years ago. <laughs> Some that I haven't even cracked the seals off of, but I'm going to see if my daughters want them. And then the ones that, if they don't, um, I'm going to put them in, like I said, a lot on Poshmark or whatever. Because you can sell unopened or, you know, new makeup on Poshmark. So, I'll let you know when I post all that stuff as well. So, if you haven't already, like I said, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all my social media, all that information is down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and want to see more. And yeah, until my next one, I will see y'all then. Bye.